Edexcel A-Level Maths Mechanics Summer 2019 Question 2. A particle P moves with constant acceleration 2i minus 3j meters per second squared. At time t equals 0, the particle is at the point A and is moving with velocity minus i plus 4j meters per second. At time t equals capital T seconds, P is moving in the direction of vector 3i minus 4j. For part A, we need to find the value of t. So let's have a look at what we know. We know that the acceleration is 2i minus 3j. We know that the initial velocity is minus i plus 4j. And we know that the final velocity is in the direction of 3i minus 4j. And we're trying to find a value of t. So our formula is going to involve a, u, v and t. So we're going to use v equals u plus a, t. Substituting our values into that, we get that v is equal to minus i plus 4j plus 2i minus 3j all times by t. And if we rearrange this to get them in i and j, we get minus 1 plus 2t dots of i and 4 minus 3t dots of j. Now we know that this has got to be in the direction of the vector 3i minus 4j, even though we don't actually know what that full velocity is. But because it's in that direction, our i's and our j's have to be in the same ratio as each other. So the ratio of our j to i that we've just worked out, 4 minus 3t and the minus 1 plus 2t, is the same as the ratio of the minus 4j and the 3i on the given vector. So we can set them equal to each other as fractions. Now, if we cross multiply, we get that 3 lots of 4 minus 3t is equal to minus 4 lots of minus 1 plus 2t. So 12 minus 9t equals 4 minus 8t. Adding 9t to both sides gives us 12 equals 4 plus t. Hence, t is equal to 8. At time t equals 4 seconds, p is at the point b. We need to find a distance a, b. So again, let's look at what we've got. We've got an acceleration. We've got our initial velocity. We've got a time of four seconds, and we want to find a displacement, s. So we need a formula that involves a, u, t, and s. So we're going to use s equals u, t plus half a, t squared. Substituting in our values, we get that minus i plus 4j times by 4 plus a half times 2i minus 3j times 4 squared. This simplifies to minus 4i plus 16j plus 16i minus 24j, so 12i minus 8j. So that's the vector for our displacement from A to B, but we need to find the distance. So we're going to square root the sum of the squares of our i and j's. So square root of 12 squared plus negative 8 squared gives us root 208, which is 14.4. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the Doing Maths channel or check out some more of my videos by clicking on the links here.